what is the best trading strategy for beginners who are looking to trade Forex? Now, this is a question that a lot of us always get. Okay, a lot of uh, people email us asking us what is the best trading strategy. And uh, after some discussion with our team, uh, today we finally decided to put together a best trading strategy. Okay, now that's the reason why uh, of all the strategies that we know, we chose this strat strategy. Okay, so we'll go into that uh, in this video as well. Okay, so here's what we are going to be covering today. Let me just... Uh, Okay, so in today's video, we're going to talk about why we recommend that you start off by training breakouts. Okay, why training breakouts is very beginner friendly and why you want to uh, use that as your first trading strategy, especially if you have just starting out, you are just starting out or you know, you're still struggling, then you want to try uh, trading breakouts first. Okay, after that, I want to show you the exact uh, entry criteria. Okay, because I don't just want to tell you you know that you should be trading breakouts and leave you hanging there. Okay, I want to give you the specific steps. Okay, I want to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how do you actually trade breakouts. Okay, then I'll show you some examples. Okay, some case studies of you know how do we identify um, these trades. Okay, and lastly, uh, if you stay till the end, okay, I'm gonna give you some bonus tips to increase your win rate. Okay, these tips are massive. Okay, in fact, I have a very good tip inside. One of the tip inside that uh, has saved us so much money just by implementing it, okay? So if, you know, you're already an existing trader who's doing, you know, this and you are trading breakouts and you're having good uh, win rate, okay, you still want to watch this to the end because this bonus tip that I'm going to provide at the end is going to help you further increase your win rate, okay? So this video is really for everyone, okay? Just whether you are starting out, which, uh, you know, actually this video is more for those kind of people, but even if you are a proficient trader, uh, we have something in this video just for you, okay? So um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, okay? That will, you know, help feed the algorithm so that, you know, we can reach more traders and impact more traders uh, like yourself. Okay, we also have a free day trading guide for you. The link's in the description. So make sure you grab that uh, if you are new to our channel. Okay, so let's talk about why you want to start trading breakouts. Okay, at the beginning of this video, I explained that uh, we talked about many trading strategies that work, but uh, we actually came together as a team to think about which trading strategy will actually be, you know, suited for a beginner. Right. And after much discussion, we came to the conclusion that uh, as a beginner, the best trading strategy would be trading breakouts. Okay. Why is it so? Okay. I have it written over here. Okay. As a beginner trader, okay, you want to be right immediately. That's normal. Okay. That's normal. Everyone goes through this uh, learning phase. Okay. In fact, we get a lot of questions like, you know, asking us, how do I win 90% of the time? How do I make sure that 95% of the time my trades are profitable? Okay. This is the kind of mindset that most uh, beginner traders have, okay? And while it's not the right mindset to have, okay, uh, we understand that it's something that, you know, people start off with, okay? Personally, I also start off like this, right? Because I'm a perfectionist, I want to get every single trade, right? So I would try my best to get like 90% hit rate, which uh, no matter how hard I tried, uh, I couldn't get it. And that was very frustrating, okay? So it's only when I learned that, uh, you know, you don't have to be right straight away, you don't have to be right all the time, that uh, my trading actually improved, okay? So if you start trading with breakouts, uh, most of the time, if you do it right, uh, you will see your account in the blue or green immediately. And that's very good for your psychology. Okay, it will reinforce your learning. Okay, it will, it will encourage you to trade, right? It, it will keep you motivated to learn more about trading, okay? But if you do retracement trades or reversal trades, okay, uh, because reversal takes time okay even retracement trades takes time because essentially you are trading the reversal of the counter trend and hoping that you know the main trend resumes so in a sense it's still a retracement trade okay so this sets up this this kind of setup takes time and that affects your trading psychology because uh you know you want to be right immediately but if you see that your positions are you know in the red you know it's going to the green going to the red going to the green and back to the red and you are not strong psychologically to hold a position that's where you are going to lose money okay so this is why i advocate start with trading breakouts okay so i'm going to show you how to do it so not to worry i will do a step-by-step -step process okay if you need more help just leave a comment down below i'll do my best to uh, you know address any concerns you have okay so let's talk about the breakout entry criteria. Okay, how do you find a good breakout setup? Okay, now 
it in, consists of four steps. Okay, I'll go through each of these steps step by step, but this is the overview of uh, the strategy that I want to teach you in today's video. Okay, number one is you want to identify key support and resistance level. Okay, in trading, it's always about levels. So you need to look for the right levels. Okay, so you start with identifying the levels that uh, you're interested in. Okay, number two would be you look for a build up. Okay, you want to have momentum on your side. You want to see that uh, either the bulls or the bears are building their position. Okay, you can use the 20 simple moving average or the ascending trend line. Or if it's a bearish setup, then it's going to be the uh, descending trend line. Okay, the next thing you want to look for is you want to look for a series of engulfing candles attacking the support or resistance level. Okay, not to worry if you know you're a bit confused, you do not understand what I'm talking about right now, that's fine. Okay, because I have examples for you, so do not worry. Okay, and step four uh, is you will place the stop loss below or above the uh, recent engulfing candle low or high. Okay, so of course, if you are selling, then you want to put your stop loss above the engulfing candle high. And if you are buying, you want to put your stop loss below the candle low. Okay. So before I go on to the you know, case study, I just want to make sure that you really understand what I'm saying. Okay, because I cannot assume that you understand what I mean uh, when I say engulfing patterns. So I want to just touch briefly about what I mean by uh, engulfing patterns as well as uh, what do I mean by trend lines. Okay, what, what, what do all this mean? Okay, remember this video is meant to be beginner friendly. So that's why I want to cover everything. Okay, so let's talk about this uh, bullish engulfing pattern. Okay, it's very simple. So basically, you have a candle, a bearish candle, and then you have a bullish candle that close above the opening candle of the previous candle. Okay, so you can see in this case, the close over here is higher than the open of the previous candle, and you know, it engulfs nicely. So this is called engulfing pattern because it kind of like eats up the other candle's body. Right, so the body is actually the open to the close here. So this is the candle body, and uh, this engulfing pattern has swallowed up this uh, pattern, this candle over here, this bearish candle over here. Okay, so this is the bullish engulfing pattern. Okay, let's look at the bearish engulfing pattern right now. So you can see it's actually just the opposite. Okay, you have a bullish candle here, and then you have a bearish engulfing pattern here. So you can see in this case that the close, okay, it's lower than the open. Okay, in this case, the bearish engulfing pattern is stronger because the close is also below the low. Okay, this is not mandatory, but whenever you see a pattern like this where the close is able to close below the low of the previous candle, then uh, this is a more powerful uh, engulfing pattern. Okay, but in this bull bullish engulfing pattern case, uh, it doesn't close above the high of the candle, but nonetheless, this is still a engulfing pattern. Okay, so this is the pattern that we are looking for uh, in the build-up, okay? And uh, this is how you draw the trend line, okay? Uh, basically, this breakout strategy involves trading the ascending triangle and descending triangle, right? Because um, if you think about it, uh, there is a key support and res resistance level horizontal line here, and you are trying to find, buy the breakout when this uh, level is broken over here, okay? Let me see if I can draw it. Uh, Okay, you are trying to buy the breakout somewhere here. Okay, so you want to use the, uh, you want to see that there's a form of build up. You want to see that there's an engulfing pattern over here, and you want to see that there's an engulfing pattern over here, and a couple of more engulfing patterns on the way up. Okay, so basically what you want to see is you want to see engulfing patterns moving upwards. Okay, that is what I call a series of engulfing patterns. Okay, the opposite is also true for the descending triangle. This level here is your uh, key support support level and you're just waiting for this level to be broken so you want to see that there is an engulfing pattern here bearish engulfing pattern here there's a en bearish engulfing pattern here and ideally more engulfing patterns are forming along this uh, trend line okay so this works the same if you are using a moving average okay the moving average will be something like you know it's coming down okay and you have this level here and price is uh you know it's the same thing okay and then it breaks and let's say your moving average is, uh, sorry, let me just draw it properly. Um, yeah, something like this. Let's just, just, just ignore this portion. Okay, let's say the moving average is something like that and price is being resisted by the moving average and forming bearish engulfing patterns. Okay, that's what you want to be looking for. 
Okay, so now that we've gotten uh, this out of the way, you understand what the engulfing pattern is as well as what uh, you know the trend line is. Okay, let's show you some real case study. Okay, I want to show you how to actually do it. Okay, so step one, remember, uh, step one, what do we do? We identify the key support and resistance level uh, where we expect that you know when there's a breakout, price is going to move uh, in uh, a big in a big way. Okay, so in this case, you can see over here that. Uh, just draw it here. Okay, in this case, I have marked out this level 1.2431. Okay, you can see why this is a strong level. It's very obvious because you have one touch here, you have multiple touches all over here. Okay, if you cannot see it, uh, just switch to a line chart and you will find that this is actually the line. Uh, this is actually a level because uh, that's the candle close. Okay, for me personally, my eyes are trained, so uh, one look I can I can see it. But uh, you know, if you can't, it's fine. It's fine, uh, you can just you know, switch your line chart, okay? So what happens when you, you identify this uh, support and resistance level? In this case, it's a support level. That's step one, okay? Step two is you want to look for a build up, okay? So in this case, you can see that uh, there's a build up in, in the sense that there is a, let me just draw it here. There is an engulfing pattern here, okay? Um, sorry, not really an engulfing pattern. It is almost an engulfing pattern because uh, it did not close below the uh, candle uh, body, but it's almost an engulfing pattern. Okay, but this is definitely an engulfing pattern. And then you have another engulfing pattern. And finally, you have this engulfing pattern. Okay, so you do see a series of uh, engulfing patterns, which is uh, what I mentioned over here. Okay, step three of the process, look for a series of engulfing pattern. And you also see that the, the, the 20... Moving average, you can see over here. Um, let me just draw it. You can see over here that uh, it's acting as resistance. Okay, so this is what I mean. This is step two. So step one is you identify the key support. Step two is you look for a form of build up. So in this particular example, the build up that you are looking at is actually a 20 period moving average uh, build up. So you can see that uh, the bears are slowly squeezing the bulls out of this position. Okay, and then step three is you look at the uh, series of engulfing patterns. So you can see that there is, uh, you know, there's a couple over here. And finally, when price broke out, what happened? It, it had a big movement down. Okay, so this is how you uh, identify it. Okay, so you look, you identify key support and resistance level. You look for the build up. Okay, in this case, uh, this example that I just go through is the 20 period moving average, okay? You look for a series of uh, bearish engulfing candles and then you enter the trade, okay? So in this case, uh, this is how you enter the trade, okay? So roughly when, you know, price breaks a level, you can just put a, a sell stop if you want. So a sell stop is actually an order to enter when price uh, starts, you know, falling, right? Basically, you're entering at the worst price. But right now, because we are trying to enter a breakout, uh, that's fine, okay, and you just put your stop loss above the uh, the recent engulfing pattern high, okay, because we are selling, so your stop loss has to be above, not below, okay, above the uh, bearish engulfing pattern, so something like this, okay, uh, how you manage your trade uh, is up to you, okay, I'm not going to go through that because uh, trade management is another big topic on its own, okay, if you want more help on that, okay, uh, just leave a comment down below and I'll, you know, our team will put together some materials to teach you how to better manage your trade. But for today, I just want to teach you this uh, beginner-friendly strategy on how to trade breakouts, okay? So this is how you do it. Now let's look at another example. Now in this example, we're going to look at the opposite, okay? Just now we look at the bearish uh, scenario. Now let's look at the bullish scenario, okay? So what is step one? Let's go back to our checklist, okay? Step one is to identify key support and resistance level, okay? So I've done that for you, okay? I've identified uh, this level. Okay, I identified 1.24819. Okay, so how do I know that this is an important level? Just look at the market structure. You can see over here, one touch, uh, two touch, okay, and uh, kind of like three touch. Okay, in fact, uh, this level was so strong that uh, price came back to retest it. Okay, so step one, it's done. Okay, we identified the key resistance level in this case, and that's 1.24819. Okay, now let's look at step two. Step two, we want to look for the build up. Okay, so what build up are we looking at in this case? Same thing, you can see that uh, this, this is the moving average. Okay, you can see this moving average line is sloping up and uh, it, price is being held here, being supported here, and price is being supported here, 
here and here okay so price is being supported multiple times okay so you have the 20 uh, moving period uh, build up yet again okay in this case this is a very powerful trade because this there's also this trend line build up here. You can see that, uh, let me just, you can see this trend line that I drew. There is also a trend line build up. Okay, so this is a very powerful trade setup because you have everything aligning. Okay, you have the 20 period moving average, uh, you know, doing the build up. Okay, you have the trend line build up as well. Okay, so this is a very good setup. This is a definition of uh, a good setup using this strategy. Okay, so we covered, um, Step one and step two. Okay, let's talk about step three, then we go to step four. So series of engulfing candles. Okay, I've highlighted over here. You can see that uh, there is an engulfing pattern here. Okay, and there's another one which is not, this is the uh, weaker uh, engulfing pattern because it not, did not close above the high, but nonetheless, it still closed above the candle body. Okay, so it's still nonetheless a bullish engulfing pattern. Okay, so, that is step three. Okay, step four would be to take the trade. And in this case, I've uh, you know just shown you how you know the, I would have taken the trade. I've done something like that. I would have entered when uh, price traded above uh, this uh, recent high. Okay, uh, recent high of one point two four eight one nine, and uh, put the stop loss below the uh, engulfing pa uh, pattern low. Okay, that's how I would have traded it. Okay, so it's it's rather simple. You just need to follow uh, the steps that uh, you know I've listed over here. Okay, you can feel free to pause this video, write these steps down and go practice. Okay, if you need help, you need assistance, uh, you can go ahead and practice this strategy. Email my team at uh, support at financialmarketwizards.com and uh, we can give you some pointers about uh, whether you're doing correctly. Okay, but you can please go practice this. Do not just watch this video. Okay, because just watching this video on its own is not going to help you if you do not practice. Okay, you, you're going to have to practice. You're going to make some mistakes and uh, you know, we are here to help you. Okay, we can uh, look at your charts. We can look at your analysis. Just let us know and then we'll tell you um, is there something that you're missing or is there a mistake that you're making. Okay. So yes, this is how uh, you trade this uh, strategy. So breakout is really a very friendly way for you to trade. Okay, so now I'm going to go on to the last part of the video. Okay, if you made it to this part of the video, good job on you because we know a lot of people, you know, they watch halfway, they lose interest, they don't stick with it. Okay, and that's why it's very hard for them to be successful if they don't stick with it. Okay, so good job if you are here. So right now I'm going to share with you three bonus tips to increase your win rate. Okay, so if you're already profitable, this will further enhance your win rate. Okay, number one is kind of like an obvious one. Okay, but nonetheless, I still need to reiterate this. Okay, you always want to be trading with the trend. Okay, no exceptions. Okay, if you're struggling, trade with the trend. Do not try counter trend. Okay, it doesn't make sense. If you cannot be profitable trading with the trend, why do you want to trade counter trend? It just doesn't make sense. Okay, leave the counter trend trades to when you are very profitable and you want to mix up your play, you know, mix up your trades, then you go the counter trend trades. But if you're still struggling, please do not do this, okay? Use this with the trend and you increase your win rate by a lot, okay? The second one that I have for you, second bonus tip is that you want to avoid trading prior to a trading session, okay? This is huge. This is very, very, very important, okay? Uh, I do not know, uh, you know, you are watching this video, where are you from? Uh, but personally, I'm from Singapore, where the, the time zone is GMT plus 8, okay? So what it means for me is that uh, the Europe market opens at 4 p.m., okay? And the US session starts at 8 p.m., okay? Uh, I do not know where, you know, what time it opens at your country, but you can check out the forexfactory.com, uh, check out uh, when does the various uh, markets open for you, okay? You want to look at the Euro and the US trading session, okay? So let's say, uh, uh, let's say for myself, the Euro session starts at 4 p.m., okay? I want to avoid trading any breakouts at 3 p.m., okay? Before the session, because what happens is that if you enter before the session, before, you know, the Europeans come in and start trading, uh, it's very likely that you get whipped out, right? Because during the Asia session, you know, the Asian people push the price up, but the Europeans just smash it back down, okay? You want to avoid that, okay? If you want to trade, you should wait for at least one hour until the the trading session has started uh, so that price is really firm up, okay? So that's actually bonus tip number three, okay? So in my case, um, the Europe session opens at 3 p.m., sorry, 4 p.m. Okay, let me just uh, write this down. So for me, it's uh, 4 p.m. And um, 
for US is 8 p.m. Okay, so that means I would not want to trade at uh, 3 p.m. or I do not want to trade at 7 p.m. Okay, basically anything close to close to 4 p.m. I do not want to trade. Okay, sometimes I might even avoid trading 2 p.m. Okay, because there's really no point in trading a breakout at 2 p.m. and then 4 p.m. you worry that the euro market is going to uh, reverse the direction. Okay, so I'll, I'll try to avoid uh, this kind of timings, 3 p.m., 7 p.m. Okay, I will wait one hour after this session, which in this case for me will be 5 p.m. Okay, uh, for price to firm up and uh, 9 p.m. Okay, so this, these are the timings you want to focus on. Okay, the best trade setups is going to happen at 9 p.m. Okay, for obvious reasons, because uh, the US and the Europe market is open. That's where you have the most liquidity. That's where there are most active traders. And that's also when price will move uh, massively. Okay, so if there's only one timing that uh, you want to, that you need to trade, that you want to have the highest win rate, uh, you don't want to trade uh, during timings which are not so profitable, then just focus on 9 p.m. Okay, for me, it's 9 p.m. For you, uh, you need to go check out what time is it. But basically, you want to trade one hour, one hour after the US session. Okay, so if your US session is 8 p.m., then you want to trade at 9 p.m. You want to wait for the market to firm up before you start taking a breakout trade. Okay, so this is it's going to save you a lot of money. Okay, it took us a lot of money to figure out the right time to trade. Okay, so I really hope that you benefit from that. I really hope that you take this to heart and uh, you do not trade prior to a trading session. Okay, at least four breakouts. Okay, if you trade other methods, uh, you know, I, I don't know about that. But if you're talking about breakouts, uh, please do not trade one hour before a trading session and please wait for the uh, trading session, uh, you know, to firm up the prices first, wait at least an hour and then you go into the trade. Okay, so these are the tips I have for you. Implement it then leave a comment down below. Let us know whether it helps you because you know, it helps us a lot. And uh, you should, if, if you do it right, you should come to the same conclusion. Okay, so that's it for this video. So just a brief recap, okay? I started off this video by talking about why you want to start trading uh, breakouts if you are a beginner trader and how it's actually the best uh, you know, strategy that we will advocate if you are new and you're struggling. Start with trading breakouts because it's easy psychologically. Okay, I talk about the breakout entry criteria. Okay, there are four of them. Okay, we talk about uh, over here. Okay, the four of them you identify the key support and resistance level. You look for the build up, we look for a series of engulfing patterns, and you place your entry and stop loss right with your stop loss above or below the recent uh, engulfing candle high or low, depending on whether you're buying or you're selling. Okay. And lastly, I also talked to you about uh, three bonus tips, okay? Make sure you implement this because these three will massively increase your win rate if you do it correctly, okay? So that's it for this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button because we create content like this to take you from a struggling trader into a profitable trader, okay? Uh, we do not charge you for our services, okay? We have a free day trading guide for you. Uh, in fact, our trading course is also free as well, okay? You just need to open an account with our sponsoring brokerage and the brokerage will take care of the rest, okay? Uh, the link's in the description so you can and check that out at the end of this video okay so thanks for watching if you have any questions just leave a comment down below and i'll see you in the next video